In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up and use the start-stop function within Time Control. I'm logged in as the Timesheet Administrator, and the permissions for the start-stop function are controlled by user profiles. So I go to Administrator Options, User Profiles, and I choose the user profile for the group that I want to manage. So in this case, I'm going to select Individual, and under the General Settings, now if I scroll down, there's start stop type and I say view start stop and you have the option of having a single line for each day or multiple uh, lines for each day. So I'm going to select multiple and I'm going to say apply and now it's activated the start stop function for the people who have an individual profile. So I'm, I've relogged in as the my end user Gail Robinson and I'm going to go to timesheet entry and Gail has put a few uh, a few hours in for the first two days of the week if I go to above the line items over to the right hand side there's a little icon that looks like a clock and it's a start stop so I click start stop and what it does it, it activates the um, the pane for the window for the start stop. Um, by default it's one shift per day but I have the option of adding additional. So I'm going to go here and for the first one I'm going to say that we started at 9 o'clock in the morning 9 a.m. and I clocked out for lunch at noon. I save that a total of three hours and for because I've set it up for multiple um, start stop line items uh, in my preferences for um, for this user I'm going to say I want to add a start stop I am going to start at one o'clock and that is in the afternoon and I am going to finish at five o'clock in the evening I'm gonna save that with my little um, save icon and it's a total of seven hours worked for Monday and I can go over to my timesheet and say yep it's it's seven hours so where this gets used um, fairly often is for a manager or type uh, supervisor type person to look at the the timesheet and say yeah the total number of hours on the start stop for the shift matches the uh, number of hours on the timesheet um, for that particular day if you wanted to you could create a report that would give you uh, would identify any kind of uh, anomalies or discrepancies and um, so that's uh, reporting is is available to you the one option that gets or one deployment that gets used on occasion is for these values to be pulled in from a time and attendance clock type system and populated the data populated automatically within time control and then the discrepancy reports could be um, could be generated and reviewed. The advantage of doing it that way is that the and the employee doesn't have to enter the time on their own timesheet. It's already pulled in for them. Uh, we have a couple of clients that have done that uh, with time control. The assumption is that you have a clock system that will allow the data to be transferred over. So thanks very much for having a look at our start stop function within time control if you have any questions please feel to free please feel free to reach out to us at our email info at hms.ca thank you very much for watching